We've seen these two teams play before. The Cowboys were starting Cooper Rush, missing Dak Prescott. Now the Eagles will be starting Gardner Minshew, missing Jalen Hurts, Dave Hellman. It's the game the whole world had been waiting for, might still be waiting for. How much pressure is on the Cowboys to beat the Eagles? All of it. All of the pressure, whatever you think it is. And let's be clear, it's not like playoff pressure. Like, look, we know the Cowboys are in the playoffs. The Eagles have basically won the division. Yep. Like, even if they lose this game, they turn around and beat the Saints, they, they do it all. Like, they would have to lose out to be at any risk. So it's, we're not talking that kind of pressure. It's just the pressure of the court of public opinion. And it's <laughs> all on the Cowboys. There you go. They just dropped the game to the Jags. We're sitting here arguing about whether Dak Prescott's a, a good quarterback. I think he is, but some people don't. You think it's going to get any better if they can't beat a team that's starting their backup? Who's on the road, by the way. Like, really, what do the Eagles have to worry about? Like, they basic, like I said, they basically took care of business. They got a built-in excuse of not having their starting quarterback playing in this game, and it's on the road. If the Cowboys can't get it done here, they're going to catch hell every step of the way from now until the playoffs, and they will deserve it. And Shady will be the one lighting <laughs> fire on the hell. Yes. Shady, how much pressure is on the Cowboys? If they lose, I'm coming straight for you. All, I, I all the know. pressure. Right? right. Any me. pressure you want to think about, all the pressure. An enormous amount of pressure. I mean, let's think about it. The last couple of games, they haven't been playing well, right? They lose to the Jaguars. His quarterback throws a pick six in overtime to lose the game, right? They squeeze out a victory against the worst team in football with the Texans. So it's a lot of pressure. And then you add in a divisional game. And let's be honest. For I don't know if it's for the fans, because they love it too, but the players. We're playing the Cowboys in Dallas, the Eagles. So even though that Jalen Hurts is not playing, which is even more pressure, you should be able to beat this team without their, their leader, their general, their MVP. All the pressure's on the Cowboys. I, wait, I can't wait to see what happens. Yes. All the pressure's on the Cowboys. Again, we know that both of them are going to be in the playoffs, so this is not – a game that's going to determine what's going to happen in the postseason. But you want to be playing your best football at this point yes. in the season. You want to be trending up. Yeah. That's why it's so disappointing that we're not going to get to see Jalen Hurts in this matchup. It's kind of strange how it worked out <laughs> for both of these matchups that we didn't really get either of these teams at full strength. But at the end of the day, both of these teams are trying to prove they're real contenders. Nobody believes in Jalen Hurts. He's not really the MVP, even though they've lost one game this season. Now he's not even going to play. We'll get into that later. Dak throwing a pick six to lose in overtime. The more important one was during regulation, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> Love there's them. Love there's them. a lot of pressure on the Cowboys. They, I mean, they don't care how much they're favored by, but they're favored by five and a, five and a half points. Like, they should win this game convincingly yeah. at home against a team who is not with, who is without their best player. There's not going to be any excuses. And if Dak doesn't play a perfect game, there's going to be a lot of questions about if Dallas is really a true contender this year. Mm. Well, look, we know there's a lot of pressure on the Cowboys, but this is what I'm thinking. If the Cowboys lose <clears throat> to the Eagles without Jalen Hurts, Cowboys can go ahead and X off those Super Bowl chances. X off. Pa pack it NFC. in. Pack it in. <laughs> okay. Because, okay. like, let's, let's really sit down and think about it. Rosters aren't just your starters. Joy alluded to it, right? It is unfortunate that we didn't get to see both these teams at full strength. But this is the reality of the NFL. Right. Like, rosters are it not just happens. your starters. Yeah. It happens. Shady, I don't remember if you were a part of the Chiefs then, but I remember when uh, Patrick Mahomes gets knocked out in the playoffs. Chad Henney has to go in versus the Browns, oh, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, and, uh -oh. and finish that game. Yeah. That had to happen. Starters are knocked out. John Wolford, if I'm not mistaken, had to start and win a game for the Los Angeles Rams during the Jared Goff days. Yeah. That yeah. happened. Yep. Starting quarterbacks are not always present. How good can you be with your backup? And if the Cowboys lose to Gardner Minshew, then who then in the playoffs are the Cowboys truly capable of beating at this stage in the game? Not the Cowboys that beat the Vikings 40-3. to That was a different Cowboys team. Who are they capable of beating at this stage in the game? Dave Hellman, what would a loss tell you about the Cowboys? What would a loss then mean for the Dallas Cowboys? It would further emphasize what I'm already worried about, which is the Cowboys' defense. Like, if they don't have an answer for Gardner Minshew, and that's – Gardner Minshew is about as good as you can expect your backup quarterback to be. You know, he started yeah, 20 games. Mm -hmm. He went one and one for the Eagles last year. Like, he played really well in a win against the Jets. Like he, he's done this before, and that was the Eagles roster last year was not as good as it is this At year. All. So the Eagles should have every expectation that they can win this game. And if the Dallas defense isn't capable of beating a less qualified, less mobile, I looked this up, by the, which Gardner Minshew can move, but he's like he's a 5 flat 40 kind of guy. Jalen Hurts is like a 4 or 5 40 kind of guy. Like there is a difference. So if they can't contain him, 
if they let him run on them, that type of thing, and that's what I'm worried about. Again, Jags ran for 200 yards on these guys. So that's what I'm worried about. If, if they can't win this game, I think Dak, Dak Prescott can get you the points required to win this game. I know the Eagles defense is good, but he can get you the points required, especially if you're going against a backup. If you're letting Gardner Minshew lead the Eagles to 25 or more points against you, I mean, that – that's just not going to get it. Joy, how discouraged would you be? I know you haven't picked up the Cowboys juice just yet, <laughs> even though the Cowboys back-to-back 10-win -back seasons for the first time in tw since 96. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but the Cowboys back-to-back 10-win -back seasons for the first time since 96, I do believe. How discouraging would this be if the Cowboys somehow, whole world watching, Christmas Eve, biggest game of their season, lost to Gardner Minshew? <laughs> I think it'd be a disaster. We all know what we're talking about on Monday. That's how that's going to go. Y'all can talk about it on Monday. Christmas, I'll be on the, the beach Christmas somewhere. Christmas season for Dallas. Ugh. Oh, you're going you're gonna to have a, a, another vacation? Yeah, I got another wedding. <laughs> I got another, the, uh, I got another wedding. Another season. Pro Bowl break. I got another wedding. <laughs> you got another wedding coming up. No, it'll be a disaster. And because it's the Cowboys. I mean, again, if we are to keep our wits about us, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. It would be disappointing. It would be a trend now because they're not playing well and they're also losing games or losing to backups. If Dak throws multiple interceptions again, which is obviously on the board, this Philly defense is great. He's not playing against Gardner Minshew. He's playing against Philly's defense. It's just going to be a pile on. And this isn't a team that's been battle tested and proven in the playoffs. This is the Dallas Cowboys. We think that because we talk about them all the time. But they don't, they don't do that in the playoffs. What, what part of the cycle are we in? We them boys. Oh, see, I think we're coming that's, out of that already. <laughs> I think we're coming out of that already. We're on another side of it. We haven't had a disappointing performance in the playoffs yet, so we haven't gone through the full cycle yet. But this isn't a team that gets the benefit of the doubt. So for, for, this, for them to be playing like this, to lose to a team that they don't need to beat to get into the playoffs, but they need to beat to get set straight for the rest of the season, this will be... It'll be a storm. Shady, how much does this game matter? Take me into the mind of an NFL player. You know whether you win or lose, it's not going to change your yeah. fate. If you're a Cowboys, whether you win or lose, you're still likely playing the Bucks in the opening round. Right, Maybe right. you're playing the Saints in the opening round. So there really isn't a lot out at stake besides LaShawn McCoy on television criticizing you. What is going on in the mind of a Cowboys player coming off the loss to Jacksonville? Right. You got a game on Christmas Eve, whole world watching, but the Eagles don't even have their starting quarterback. You hype, you exhaling where are you? First of all, I, I got to be honest. Now, in that division, the Cowboys lately have been running the show. Yep. Right? So now you hear about the, the Eagles now. Jalen Hurts, he's emerging to the superstar. They hear these things. The first game, if you, if you remember, the Marcus Lawrence talked about, oh, Jalen Hurts, is he good? Well, we'll see when he plays this defense, when, when he plays us. They didn't care about if Cooper Russ was the quarterback or if it was Dak Prescott. We're trying to win this game. It's a respect thing. So, for one, as, the, as, as a player, right, and I'm, I'm talking as if I'm a, a Cowboys player, yep. which is hard to believe, but I'd love it happened to, to Jason Peters. I'd love to see that. Out, you go from you haven't been playing well, and you think you're a good team. We're a good team. We're a good defense. We have a, we have a good quarterback, right? We have <laughs> other good players. You feel a certain way about yourself. Now you go into this divisional game where the whole world's going to be watching. Everybody's talking about it. Nobody don't care about who's the quarterback. We're trying to beat the Eagles. We won't beat the Cowboys. This is a big game. We, we cannot downplay it. Are there any moral victories in this game? Joy, I know you don't subscribe to moral victories this late in the season. Dave, I know you're looking for the Cowboys to play better defensively. Keep in mind, when the Eagles beat the Cowboys back in week five and week six, if I'm not mistaken, Jalen Hurts did not have a statistically impressive game. So oh. in the event the Cowboys lose, but Dave, they play well, are you still going to be to some degree elated? Or does all that matter is the Cowboys winning? Elated. Elated. Some Elated. Uh, no, this, <laughs> I think this is, if Jalen Hurts was playing, like if the Eagles were at full strength and the Cowboys go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and they lose at the buzzer or they lose a great game, I, may, I, could, I could get there. But if they're playing their backup quarterback, the guy that we've been talking about as a potential MVP for half the season, I don't, I don't, know, how you, I don't know how you find a silver lining in that. It's like, you sh you've got to be able to get a game like this done. And especially, and that's, I was joking, like, it feels like we're coming out of that cycle, Joy, because well, how long has it been? It's been 30 years, 26 years since the Cowboys won a Super Bowl? Keep Cowboy count, fans, keep Cowboy fans know where this ride lets off. Like, and so when you get to this part of the season, if, if you're not seeing definitive signs of progress, it's hard not to get into that mindset of, like, I've been here, I've done this, I know that this ends with me being sad and all my friends clowning on me in mid-January. And that's how it's going to feel. Like, I don't know how you find a silver lining with anything other than a win, considering 
that they're going against a backup quarterback. Real quick, we still got that bet going on? We, we, I don't care who the quarterback is. We got that bet still. We doing what, dinner? Was, what was the bet? We doing dinner? Oh, we had a couple bets. Jersey bet, dinner bet. Jersey bet, Shady McCoy bouncing, 25 uh, right. uh, bet. <laughs> so if the, dinner bet. if the Eagles win, Dave owes you dinner. That's right, and I need a video. I need right. a video of telling the world that I was not wrong about the Cowboys and I was not wrong about the quarterback. Is that something we're agreeing to? I'm not going to call him ass, but yeah. I mean, we can, we can, work, we can work something it's out. It's going to be a Philly I'm party sure. in Dallas, I'm baby. Sure. I've been there before. The count us out. We, we went games in Dallas. I can't wait. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.